right now, the State Department of Justice is leading an investigation into a police shooting that left one person dead in Beloit. It all started around 3.30 yesterday afternoon when police were called to Frederick Street. DOJ officials say officers found a woman who'd been stabbed and another person who was armed with an edged weapon and was making violent threats. One police officer tried a less lethal option, but when that didn't work, another officer fired their weapon. The armed person died. Tonight, Chloe Morrissey has you covered on how neighbors are reacting to the events that happened just down the street. We know that an officer shot and killed an armed suspect who stabbed a woman in Beloit Thursday. Today, we knocked on doors in the neighborhood asking neighbors if they had seen or heard anything. The neighbors we spoke with all asked to remain anonymous. They said the woman hasn't lived in the Frederick Street house very long. From what neighbors told me, she is well liked in the neighborhood. One neighbor said her son went to school with the woman. Another neighbor said the woman would come over often to chat with his mom. Another neighbor living a few doors away said she heard the gunshots from her garage, but didn't hear any arguing from the victim's home Thursday. Brenda Barber lives directly across the street from the woman's house, who said she also never really heard arguing coming from the house. She told me she saw the victim and suspect working together in the yard and that they seemed to be getting along. I went downstairs to switch over a load of laundry and my dogs were barking, so I come up and checked, and the whole street was just lit up like a Christmas tree. There were so many cops and fire trucks, ambulances. I've lived in this house for 15 years, and it's been a real quiet area. So it was really shocking that something like this really could happen. Officials say the woman is in stable condition right now, and the State Department of Justice is leading the investigation, telling me that details are limited right now. 27 News has you covered with more details as they unfold on our website, WKOW.com. Reporting in Beloit, Chloe Morrissey, 27 News.